<laughs> right everyone, just come down, I'm coming down a rickety old path. Rather than going on towards Lydia's Hill and turning off down this path, which should take me into the village of West Bagborough. Out of the sun for a while. This is all experimental, of course. I've got no idea. I'm just hoping it is. I'm just going to check the time. This is Sheila. I'm doing a series of very, very short videos and then linking them all up. Yeah, it's just gone too, so we're okay. We're okay. That is fine. Because um, I have, it's not as, I, as if I've got to walk back to Holford, you see. But you do have to pace yourself. So that's taken me half an hour and just say just over half an hour to get to this stage from the um, Triscum Stone car park. Um, I haven't gone too badly wrong. I did have to ask, because I forgot my glasses, I did have to ask a young couple for if they could read my map, because I had put um, information on the map. So I circled the church, and um, there are these two tracks. I didn't want to go on as far as the car, because if I'd gone on as far as the car park, I would have then had to... Um, gone on a road where well, isn't it much better to do this isn't it come through this valley okay it's a bit hard on the feet and I haven't got my proper walking shoes but my old faithfuls are doing well they're doing very well indeed because they, they, with these there's a lot of room for your toes to expand uh, they give a lot of broadness for, for foot expansion and they feel like they feel like gloves. They feel like slippers. And basically, I wore these all, all on my family tree trip in 2014. They've been put away for ages. I just, because I bought other, I've had other pairs since. I haven't lasted hardly at all. And I've just thrown two pairs out after wearing them into the ground, literally. I've just literally thrown two pairs away and big holes were appearing. They were really letting in the water. I've got proper walking shoes of boots. I'm going to get another really, really good pair of walking shoes soon. <sighs> but these are my old faithfuls and I probably won't even throw them away right away. It's always good to have a good backup shoe. They, they look terrible, mind. They look like they've walked a thousand miles. But the actual foot part is um, made of good stuff. You know, that what hits the ground is made of good stuff. Um, some of the other ones I've bought, they've been very, very inferior. And, um, and wobbly. And they lean to one side and the other and they leak. Really bad. You can imagine this on a wet day though, can't you? This would be a quagmire. You'd have to have um, boot buttons and boots on to come down here. This will be a quagmire. This is probably when you would go onto the road to do this bit. I'll find a dry bit in a minute. Right, what I'm going to do now is turn off. I'm just keeping you up to date. I mean, this is all unknown territory, don't forget. I've never done this before. Um, I am still hoping I'm doing the right thing. Um, I, I haven't made an error. Because I've got to go back up here, don't forget, afterwards. You've got to allow an hour for that. That's what you've always got to remember. You've got to allow for going uphill. But my main priority at the moment... I'm, but I did want to walk this as well. It's just that I did a massive hike yesterday. A seven to six to seven hour hike. Um, I didn't even think I'd be able to do this today. So I thought I'd just drive to the churches. But because of the narrowness of the roads and the difficulties, with it being a bank holiday and lots of traffic, and a nasty farmer, um, I, I decided, right, I'll just park up and I'll walk to West Park, but I won't even try and drive there. You know, because people have said, oh, it's very narrow there. And, you know, and it just puts me off. 
Anyway, this is a pleasant walk. I'll probably, although it'll be uphill, it won't be pleasant on the way back. <sighs> there might be a, the other one might be less hilly. Because I've got, an, I'm going to do. I've decided I'm going to do Lydiard Hill and Cots Holt Hill another time. I'm not even going to put it in my head to try and do any of that today. No, I ain't doing that. And it's a long way down, and it's going to be a long way up. I'm going to turn off now, everyone. This is Sheila. I think it's the 28th of August, bank, bank holiday, Monday bank holiday, 2017. I'm out on the Quantock Hills looking for West Bagra Church. Right then, I have found the church. I presume this is the one. There might even be another gully going up the other way. It looks like in the grounds of a mansion. Oh. Oh, just leave it like that, so I'm coming back up later. Right. I don't expect they'll mind me coming this way. It looks like a big house, though. Assuming this is it. What's that other place over there? They wouldn't have two churches, would they? What's that? Right, so this is Sheila. The videos are very small and very bitty. Because, um, because they are. But how about that then? There's somebody's house as well, so I've got to be a bit careful. It might be another one of those private churches. Might not even be the one. I'm videoing it now, in case it ain't the right one. I can't imagine it not being the right one though, can you? I've got no idea where the gate is, I'm just... What I'm doing is keeping out a view of the house at the moment. I don't want them to send me back. Not yet. The stables there. It's obviously well kept. I mean, you imagine um, old Fox and how run down that is. I got him. It's got to be this church, isn't it? It's got to be. There might be another way up, see? I hope they didn't get funny with me. See that? A similar type style house, like Wordsworth and Cot and Wordsworth sort of had. That's probably West Bagra Hall or something like that. Yeah, because I'd have to go on quite a long way still, you know. God, I hope they let me come in. I'm sort of keeping a low profile a bit. Because, um, you know, they might be on private property, but the thing is, there was a gate there. And there's the church, so. And I am on foot, and I am a pensioner. Right, I'm just going to turn off a minute.